This land is more than just our lifestyle, it's who we are. We have hogs, cattle, corn, soybeans, hay, but most importantly, we've raised our two children on our family farm, and it's been great memories for our family. But the threat of disease to the pork industry across the globe is very real. Our top priority is taking care of those animals, and disease is the biggest risk that we have in protecting their well-being. In 2021, I was taking care of all the production and the financial records on my own. I had a lot more responsibilities. Today, the kids are playing a more active role in our family farm. I can remember when Connor was a little boy and I'd have to take him to school. I literally had to kick him out of my car because he wanted to stay on the farm every single day. And it was right then that I realized that farming was in his blood. One of my biggest responsibilities on the farm is I haul 100% of the pigs and I am the first line of defense to continue to keep disease away. Biosecurity is not unique to my family farm. This is something that farmers do globally. They wanna make sure they can prevent illness from getting near our pigs. So we take steps to make sure that we're protecting the environment that they live in. Porcine Reproductive and Respiratory Syndrome, also known as PERS, is a disease only in pigs. It's something that we've had on our farm multiple times. The last time that we had it was in 2018. It was financially devastating. It was mentally devastating to our family to watch those hogs leave our family farm and to know that if we didn't get it right on our biosecurity this next time, we wouldn't have a family farm left. My name's Alison Van Eeninem and I am a professor of animal genomics and biotechnology at the University of California in Davis. It's been estimated that we lose about 20% of animal protein to disease. So anything we can do to produce animals that are no longer susceptible to disease is a good thing. In this case, we have an opportunity to use genome editing to produce PERS-resistant pigs. And PERS, porcine reproductive and respiratory syndrome virus, is a disease that infects around 60% of pigs in America. Big farms and small farms like the Chin family hers costs farmers and it's devastating to farmers. It's a global problem. Gene editing is a little bit like having a pair of molecular scissors. And so you can go into a very targeted location amongst the genome of a pig and make a break in that DNA. And so what we're able to do is in a very targeted way, turn off a gene. And in this particular case, we're turning off the gene that makes the receptor that the PERS virus binds to. Without that receptor, the virus cannot infect the pigs anymore. And then they pass that on from generation to generation and all of their descendants will be resistant to that disease. We've seen gene editing in agriculture and in human health and a lot more within crops. And so now this is kind of a unique opportunity for applying it to animals. Allison, a big question was always around how do we responsibly reduce the need for antibiotic use? How do you see gene editing playing into that even bigger? You're asking a geneticist if genetics is a good way to reduce diseases? <laughs> yes, 100%. If we could get a genetic solution, so much better than having sick animals and needing to treat them with antibiotics. <laughs> The pers resistant pig could provide a variety of benefits for the farmer, especially on the global landscape. They're being asked to reduce the need for antibiotics, to produce protein more efficiently with a lower carbon footprint. With our pers resistant pig, being able to remove the risk of having a pers outbreak is significant. The consumers have told us that the things that they care most about around improving animal health and welfare, reducing the need for antibiotic treatment, and then around sustainability. 
The Purge Resistant Pig does all of that without compromising the quality for the consumer. This is about our grandchildren, the seventh generation in our family. My hope is that we're protecting this land and that we're gonna pass it on to the next generation in better shape than what we received it in. It's not new in the farming industry for technology to make a huge difference in the way that we do things. Birds resistant pigs could create a very hopeful future for farmers, especially in the hog industry. This farm is everything to me. If something was to happen this farm, I'd be lost. I wouldn't know what to do with myself. This is all I've ever known, and this is all I ever want to do.